You know, I'm feeling uh, overwhelmed uh, because of the fact that uh, we do have um, Pacifica here and more or less Oceania uh, represented the Pofiri this, uh, uh, this morning and to be amongst uh, our Maori uh, whanau. And, uh, and especially in the presence of uh, King Tuhetia, who is celebrating today the 18th uh, year of his uh, reign as uh, King Tuhetia. And the fact that um, it also is an overwhelming um, uh, placement because we have also our king, the House of Wariki, uh, the president of our House, House of Wariki in the Cook Islands, here with us. It's, a, it's an honor to speak on, on behalf and a part of uh, Melanesia. Uh, as I wear the markings of Melanesia on my skin, but also in relationship to and connections to our family uh, in Papua New Guinea. Uh, what an honour, what an honour to be a part of this Kaupapa um, and to celebrate as a, as a, as a whole family um, uh, coming together and celebrating this, this occasion together. So, yeah, what a beautiful day and I feel very full. My heart is full. I think it's not only important for PNG or Papua New Guinea, but also important for all Pacific Islanders to stand in this ways, so that we don't continue to live without acknowledging the whenua of the people in the whenua of this, um, uh, the people of this land. Our Melanesian community here in Aotearoa is a small community. Our biggest one, obviously, is Fiji, and so they participate in many. But if we're looking at the other Melanesian countries like Solomon Islands, Vanuatu, and Papua New Guinea, we are smaller in numbers. So often we tend to sort of keep to it ourselves and so an opportunity like this is very important because um, we participate with the wider you know Pacific community um, here in Aotearoa. Our Solomon Islands community that came to represent our um, Solomon Island community here in Auckland as well as Aotearoa there's only four of us but we just said you know go in faith so as indigenous people of the land or of a country, it's important that we support each other because our whenua, our land, is an important part of who we are um, as a community and our culture. It is something, if I think back to the advice that my great-grandfather um, gave, who is a bangara or a high chief from Marovo, Hilakolo, what he explained is that your land is an important and integral part of your identity and who you are as a person. We are our custodians and it is never to be sold or given. And so it is important for us to protect it so that we can pass it on to the future generations who will be the new custodians. I can just speak within our Solomon Islands community itself. Um, our people have a long history with Aotearoa, back to the 1900s with the um, introduction of Christianity. A lot of our missionaries are trained in Kohimbarama, which is near Mission Bay, and a lot of them lived here for um, many years and then do pass and are buried down in St. John's. Now coming fast forward, sort of more in the modern future, a lot of our um, uh, um, the Solomon Island um, people, if I speak specifically for my own family, we are now, they are now, uh, our kids are now whakapapa to, to, to Tangata Whenua, especially to Waikato Tainui, um, so with through intermarriage, and then Ngapui. And so it's a connection that's not just going to stop them, but it's going to continue in the future.